What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on Virginia Tech and ended up winning 28 to 20. As you can tell by the box score we really struggled in the first half but we came out in the second half and was able to come out with the victory especially in that fourth quarter we took care of business. We're 5-0 and we're number one in the country for the first time in the entire Dynasty. Let's see if we can keep that going now today we're gonna have quite a bit of a challenge we're gonna go up against number six miami now we beat them last season we got the same amount of talent it looks like their defense is incredible their running attack is really good they run a pro style offense four three defense so it should be quite the challenge but a lot of fun let's look at recruiting where you're still going after a handful of guys sergey long he visited a couple of games ago and he still is a soft verbal I think we're in good shape. The problem is there's nothing else we could do at this point. We just got to hope he will finally commit before Auburn or Maryland swoop in to get him. Now, David Roberts, the free safety, he is visiting today. We can check out and see what he's into. Apparently, we don't know much of anything yet. It says he feels that he can get a solid education pretty much anywhere. So he doesn't care about academics. So we're going to keep it simple and safe. And we'll go with program prestige. That's usually one of the more popular pitches and last but not least robert madison the guard he is ready to visit now we can have him come today or a month from now to the lsu game i want to get it out of the way so let's go ahead and select the, the miami game that way if he does commit we can use those points on somebody else i think it's just in our best interest to do so we don't know what he likes here either we do know that he doesn't care much for academics so again we're going to do the same thing we're going to stick with program prestige for this guy. So stay to the end of the video. Maybe we can get one or two commitments. Just a quick update on the Heisman watch. Horton hasn't moved anywhere. He's still in fifth place behind a bunch of Texas Tech players and one Michigan wide receiver. But we will continue to monitor this and see if he moves up the list. Let's check out the conference standings. This is our division, the Coastal Division, and we are in a clear lead at the top spot. But we haven't played enough of these teams yet. We still got Miami to play and, you know, North Carolina and Georgia Tech. So we got, what, five conference games left. So there's just a lot of games left to be played. But what we can do is check out our team info screen. Of course, John Red is out for, you know, a couple of months. Gates, Horton, and Peterson, that's going to stay pretty consistent, I would think. And then you got defensive leaders, Walker, Nichols, and then Nichols is still technically leading in interceptions. I think we got like five different players with one interception each. Now let's check out Miami's team info screen. Looks like they got an outside linebacker out for pretty much the rest of the season. And if you look at the defensive leaders, that is the same guy led in tackles and sacks. So that is a big loss for them. I'm sure they got some talent behind him that they'll probably okay but if he's an impact guy, that's going to help us quite a bit. Now, you look at the offensive side of things. Looks like they got a quarterback putting up really good numbers. I think this is a new guy from what we saw last season. I think Brock Berlin was their quarterback last year who had a good game against us. You look at their rushing and receiving. None of that says a whole lot to me. But, again, they got the same amount of talent as we do, so I'm sure they're pretty formidable. And in their last game, they destroyed NC State. Looks like we have somebody in trouble. Let's see what the deal is. Free safety, Joe Allen. This is actually a good thing. He is our backup free safety. Let's see what he did. Now, the local papers report that Allen recently received special privileges at a Durham department store. Uh, what do you want to do? We're just going to do one game, I mean, which is going to be fine. Uh, our interest bar is so low that we could do a quarter and it ain't going to make a difference. I mean, I could probably do something like this. We could do one quarter and that'll be enough. If you notice, the interest bar did not change whatsoever if I changed it from a quarter to one full game. So we'll just do one quarter. That way we got some extra points left if we need to use them for something more egregious down the road. Before we head back into the video, I just wanted to point out a few things that I have in my store. Starting off with the memory cards for the PlayStation 2 that has over 20 named roster files for all of the NCAA football games from 02 up to 11. And then, of course, I have all of my books that I have written over the years from my latest one, the West Coast Offense, the Out Raid Offense, and you got the Big Book of Tight Ends, the Power Shoot. Then you got the Eye Option, P.A. Reed, Pro Dog, Run and Shoot, and so much more. So I will have a link in the top right and in the description below. I think we're going to have a pretty day for some football. I'm all for that. Yes, good deal. 
This is going to be our last home game for a solid month. Just a weird schedule we have set up that way due to the conference schedule. Oh my gosh, look at the wind. 23 to 33 miles an hour. It's going to be really cold. So I guess the idea of pretty weather is out the window. At least it isn't raining. And here come your Duke Blue Devils. This is probably my favorite uniform combo. I like the blue uniforms with the pants and then the white helmet. I think that looks really cool. They're going to highlight Buttles, which is interesting. He hasn't got to do a whole lot this year, but at least he got to get a little bit of love in this game. Big top 10 matchup. This is going to be a big deal. Man, we got to get the win if we want a chance to win it all. They won the toss, and they will receive. Now, the wind is kind of going at a weird angle, so I'm going to just select probably this. That way we should get the wind towards our back in the fourth. Let's check out their roster, see what we are dealing with. Starting quarterback, he's got 74 speed, so he is a dual-threat guy. I don't expect him to run a ton, and if he does, that 74 speed doesn't really scare me. Impact halfback, Darren Thomas. Everything's going to go through this cat. Arguably the most talented halfback in the country, maybe outside of our guy, but still, our defense is going to predicate on what this guy's going to do. And his backup, they got a pretty good one behind him, and then it's a bit of a drop-off after that. You look at their fullback, 87 overall, pretty good with 82 speed. Wide receivers, wow, this is a big drop-off for them. A freshman, a freshman, and a freshman. Well, no wonder. So they lost pretty much all of their wide receivers, and they brought in a huge class of newcomers and they ended up doing a pretty good job 78 78 and 76 but they're all really young and look at this kid 68 225 does that remind you of anybody all right tight end 92 overall 86 speed i fully expect this guy to get the ball a time or two today you look at their offensive line 93 74 97 89 and 96 those are probably the best combo of tackles i've seen in a while at 96 and 93 that's really good and they got a 97 center so a really good offensive line except for their left guard maybe we could do something there all right let's look at their defensive uh, ends we'll start off on the edge they got a true freshman here at 82 overall 66 268 pounds good for them then they got a 96 overall at the other end so their ends are really good defensive tackles 92 84 and 80 really strong you look at their linebackers 86 90 with the 89 behind that guy and Cedric Douglas this was their leading tackler true freshman and he's gonna be out today but look at his backup they're gonna put in the middle linebacker so this is actually a detriment for us uh, you look at the corners 85 and 80 so not bad there really tall players this is my ideal type of corner right there you look at their free safety impact player 93 overall you look at their strong safety 99 overall the best player maybe in the country, this kid right here. So they got impact guys at free safety and strong safety, which you don't see too often. So I don't know how we're going to work around that, but we'll find a way. Average kicker, average punter, both of them are fairly young. All right, let's get this show on the road. They got an impact guy on both ends, so we're going to head and just kick it like normal. Right down the middle. I forgot the wind is going to tilt a little bit all day good stop there there's a good looking uniforms for miami let's go we're gonna do man for quite a while our goal is to shut down that running back as best we can we're gonna leave it as such yep going basic run good hit by the defensive tackle by poland Really good hit. Boom! See if we can get another good shot. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so that is what? Second and 12. I'm going to stay in, man. I think they're going to run it again. Let's look here. Let's uh, let's do something like this. Toss play. Somebody get him. That's a good pickup for them. So that's what? Third and four, maybe? Third and five? Yes, third and four. We're going to do a one high look. It's third down and four to go. We're going to bring everybody down. Do something like this. If I was them, I'd probably run the ball. Good hit, Al. Yeah. Force a punt, son. 
All right, we're going to get the ball for the first time today. Now, I think it's in our best interest with the wind. The wind scares me. I do not want that thing to go against us. And it's going at a weird angle. I think that means we need to run the ball a lot today. Plus, we're going up against a really good team. I want to run some clock. Somebody get a block right there. Nope, ain't going to happen. Let's just get out of bounds. All right, we are on the left hash. I have Horton still sitting there. What I can do is... Uh, let's think about this. Let's go to formation subs. I have Miranda sitting there, but he messes up last time. Let's do have him right there and see what happens. I think I could do some A-gap running with a, a more of a spread set like that. So we're going to have Miranda right there. Okay, but for now, we're going to keep Horton at this formation. Especially around goal line, it just makes sense. We're going zone 4-3. Let's just go to the left. Nope. Good defense. Good stop there. It is second and 11. Let's pass the ball. Let's go tight in the lay. They're going man. 5-2. Uh, we're going to probably do something like this. And the clock is going. I'm going to let it do so. We're either going to go to Riley or Horton. Hopefully Riley can step up a little bit today. He done a very bad job in the last game. Cover one. We'll go over to Horton. Good play to 29. So first to 10, let's give him a bit of a break. Let's go back to the run game. I'm going to see if Miranda can redeem himself from the last game. He had a bad fumble, and I pretty much took the ball away from him the rest of the game. Man nickel here. Uh, I don't know if this will help. This gives us a little bit more room to the left, at least. The clock is stopped, so let's go ahead and snap it. Nope, we'll back, bounce out here. Let's just get down. I'm, yeah, <laughs> that dude's going to force a fumble. I'm not going to do it. So we're going to get five yards out of it. That's okay. Uh, let's do a toss play with Horton. We're going zone 4-3. Shifting that way, I think. I'm going to leave it as is. If I bring anybody else over, that's going to bring another linebacker over. So I kind of like the way they shaded to the right. So hopefully we can get some decent blocking on the left. Go ahead and snap it. Nope, no blocking. Somebody missed the block there. So it is, what, third and three. Let's do tight end slot. Let's do a wide receiver curls. Go man. Ooh, they're going zone. They're going dime. We're going to do something like this. We're going to either go to the tight end over the middle, or we're going to go to Peterson. Get a first down, just enough. Whew. Good throw, right where it needed to be. Uh, let's go with... Let's do an off-tackle run with Horton. They're going zone nickel. They're spreading everybody and their brother out. I'm going to just have him keep it. Gates is too slow to do anything with that. So I am going to just hand the ball off. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do about that. I could have kept it with the quarterback. He would have got destroyed as well. Second and 10. Let's get our freshman running back going. We're going to try a toss. Don't shift hard to the right. That, that'll be okay, I think. We're going to let that clock roll. This is going to be a really short game if I have anything to say about it. I want to keep it away from that offense, especially that running back. I know this is not as exciting as it's hurried up and calling a bunch of more plays, but this is a very good team and, ooh, good juke. Very scary to do that against an impact player. Good run. Playbook Gamer rocks. I normally don't recommend you do that right there against an impact player, but it worked out for us, especially against the apparently the best player in the country. We are on the right hash. Uh, let's, yes, let's go RB deep. I'm going to keep it short on the passing. I just don't want that wind to carry things around. So what we're going to do is we're either going to do, we're going to pretty much do like our old uh, run and shoot with Hawaii. We're either going to go go routes or really short stuff at the passing game today. 
Let's do something like this. Looks like we're going with cover one. Good catch. Good job, Riley, picking up the first down. So Gates is playing well at the moment. Let's try. Uh, let's go. Back to Horton with a basic run. We'll go slam. They're going zone. 4-3. Here I can... Let's go to... Hmm, this is interesting. Let's go to the right this time and see what happens. I could bring in an extra blocker if I want to. Let's just go ahead and snap it. Good defense. Yeah, we're very fortunate we got the yards we did. Not much there. Uh, let's try... Slam again with Horton. This time they're going man 4-3. Ah, that's a rough shift. They line up in an eye. I still may go... Hmm, I'm going to go to the right. Maybe we can get through. It all depends on what our tight end does on the block. Let's go ahead and snap it. Let's see if he can break a tackle or two. Nope. So where are we? Hopefully we're on the six. We're on the five. I, mm, let's, I want to do halfback direct. They're going man goal line. I'm going to go ahead and snap this before they shift hard. Even more so. High snap. Dang it, Al. Ah, oh, I should have dove. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do a hurry up. Let's see if this throws them off. Comes out in the shotgun. And the snap goes to Look at that, six points. <laughs> a little hurry up. I took a chance there. I probably should have kicked a field goal, but that's okay. So they done a good job stopping halfback direct the first time. Second time, thankfully, you know, the high snap is what hurt us on that last one. But we got the touchdown. And guess what? We took out pretty much the entire quarter, which is what I wanted. We're going to kick an extra point. Try to go up seven. We're going to get back on defense. See what that ball's doing. That's what worries me about throwing the ball deep. That's why I'm only going to uh, keep that to cover zero to basic go routes. Until we got no choice but to go third and long and have to do something there. We'll try to avoid those situations. This is, may go way in the corner. Yep. Somebody get over there. Quick. Thomas takes it from the six. Can't wrap him up. Good stop. Got it down to the 27 or so. I'm going to stay in 4-3 man. We're going to stay in cover two until we just can't stop that run. That running back. Let's see what he does here. Oh, they're going to pass it. Sack. But you know who. Nichols. Five-star defensive end. Good play right there. So that's the end of the first quarter. That went really well. Let's see what he does right here. I didn't get to see it. I just was able to shed off the tackle. Seven to nothing. Let's head into the second quarter. I'm going to go quarters this time. I think they're going to pass. they got to do something just to give themselves a chance on third. They may run the ball. Nope, they're going to pass it. He's going to run. Somebody get him. Guess who got the sack? Ooh, it was Olga Bossy this time. Is that going to be a sack? I assume it is. Yes, it will be. All right, we're going to go cloud. Our defensive line is really stepping up. That's what's really helped us this year. They're just getting better and better. It's a good veteran group, especially a defensive tackle. Ah, oh, somebody get a stop. Oh, you got to be kidding. Did he get it? He got it. Well, fourth and one. Go back and look at this. Wow, what a great play by the quarterback. He almost got the first down. Bad play by the corner. He still made a bad play. He has no clue what he's doing. And, oh my gosh, if I didn't get over there in time, that's going to be a first down. Wow. Let's go ahead and do a double cross. I think they're going to protect if I came into doing all that block. They line up to punt this one away. We're going to get, he's a lefty punter. Punt it to the left. Oh, we're punt it that way. That's fine. We're going to fair catch that one. We are on the left hash. Let's keep this simple if we can. Let's do halfback angle. 
Now, I got my normal sub package in here, my default. This is either going to go to Horton or Riley, our two best players. Good catch. Just don't. There we go. Pick up, what, five or six, maybe? Pick up six. What can we call? Let's go. Our QB choice did not work really well. Our little off tackle play. Let's do a toss with Horton. Man 4-3. We can provide some more room if we bring this guy over. Let's see what those safeties do. I think they're going cover one. Maybe or cover two. Let's go ahead and snap it. Ooh, wow. Great play by that defensive lineman. He dove right them. As soon as I snapped the ball. That's impressive. You don't see that too often. So where are we? We're on third and six. Ah. Let's go curls. Go man. Ooh, they're going man. Good deal. I'm kind of in the middle of the field. Or not exactly on the hash. What can we do here? Let's look at our matchups. We're going to do something like this, perhaps. We're going to have somebody... We're going to have a couple of guys pick for us. They're going to cover one. Thankfully, that free safety is... Oh, you've got to be kidding. Look how much room he had. Oh, just a terrible throw. He had all the room in the world. Dang it. Well, we got no choice but to punt it. Man. Good play call, bad execution. Let's go ahead and punt this thing. It looks straight, but it's going to curve. Something like this. Somebody get over to the left. He's There he comes. Ooh, good deal. So back to defense we go. Well, that was disappointing. We got to play better on that last drive. Halfback read. Somebody get a stop there. Good deal. Only picks up one. The running back gets two on the two yards. Let's. I'm gonna stay in the same play. We're gonna go four three. I think they're gonna run it again. Do something like this, perhaps. Good stop there. So it's what third and four. Interesting what they may call. I'm gonna go cloud. I'm gonna assume they're going to pass it. I hope they pass it. If I was them, I would just hand it off to. 21. Yep, right up the gut. Good play call. First down. First and 10. I'm going to go back. Uh, they're going with cover one. We're going to stay in cover two. Or they're going one wide. Our cover two is working just fine against their running attack. Do something like this. Toss. Good stop. Second and 11? Second and 12? I'm going to stay in man again. We need to get them in a third and long. Looks like they're going back to the same formation. Call the exact same play. Good stop right there by McCoy. Good pursuit by everybody. So now it's third and 15. So here is what we need to do. We need to get a stop. They're going to run some clock here, if I'd imagine. But we got to get a stop, get the ball back, try to score before half. Let's see if we can pull that off. Get him. Another sack. We're going to call a timeout. That gives us two timeouts and a minute 48 to work with. Otherwise, they was going to chew all that clock down. Great play by Ogabasi. I guess he was the one who made the play. That's Look at that. Defensive tackles making sacks out there. It's usually the defensive ends. All right, let's go double cross. I'd like for him to shank it to the far right. That would be great. Nope. Going this way. Somebody get a block. I'm going to fair catch that. Yep. Not a whole lot of room to work with there. Right hash. Let me think. Let's go. Let's go half back corner. Going man. Peterson is going to be defended by that safety, so we're going to do something like this, give Myrick some space to work with. Let's start to go and cover one. Good throw. Get the first down. Uh, let's go tight end delay. We're going man 4-3. I'm going to keep this simple. I'm going to do something like this. They're going cover zero. 
Go, Riley. Get it. All the ramps in the way. Oh, what a catch by Riley. Oh, man. I could have swore that ramp was going to get in the way, and he didn't. Ugh. Huge play. And I'm not going to... Do I need to call a timeout? I don't think I need to. Let's go. Wide receiver curls. We're going zone this time. We're going to do something like this. Go to our tight end over the middle. Good little play right here. Oh, and he's hurt. Injured his head. That may be like a minor concussion or something. Go back and look at this. So I hot routed our post to a slant in case there was a big hole over the middle. And there was. Good little throw to our tight end. I'm glad he got to touch the ball at least once today. Hopefully he's not too seriously hurt. Let's go with... I'm going to call play. I haven't called in forever. Let's go vertical out of I Twins. They're going zone. This should be interesting. We're either going to go to Myrick or Pero. Let's keep this safe. Let's just go to Pero. And he drops it. Second and 10. On the 20. Let's go with. I need to look at my tiny ends. I already got one out. Do I got a third that can at least block for me? I got Jones. He's a blocker, so that's okay. I think we can work with that. I'm going to run it for now. We're going to go to Horton. I want to make sure he touches the ball at least once on this drive. They're going zone nickel. Ooh, and they're shifting hard that way. Let's just go to the right. Good defense. Nowhere to go. I'm going to call a timeout. Third and nine. I may end up going back to halfback corner. I'm trying to think of any right hash deep ball plays I got. I got... Let's just, yeah, let's just go with that. I think we got a safer man beater on the left. Now, they're going zone here, so this may get interesting. We'll see if we can go to Peterson. Cover two. Get that. Oh, good defense by the safety. I think he had a chance to get it. I was fixing to get sank. Somebody came on the left. Ooh, they blitzed on the left, so I had to roll to the right. Just a tough play right here. Who made the play? Oh my gosh, that was could have been a catch. It ended up being a really good throw. So where are we? We're going to have to kick a field goal. Now let's think about the wind. I have no choice but to kick a field goal in this situation. Oh my gosh, look at that wind. We're going to do something like this. Mm. Curve! Curve! Oh, I missed it! <laughs> That's terrible. Oh man. I thought I had to switch it all the way to the far left. Man, I butchered that one. Okay. Well, that didn't help things. I shifted too hard. Let's see if we can overcome that. We're still up a touchdown, so I'm not too worried. Our defense is playing really well at the moment. Draw. Good stop. We're shutting that dude down today. He's got nowhere to go. I'm going to let that clock roll. We're going to just go to half with a one touchdown lead. We'll stay in cover two man. They may just run the clock here on this last play before ending the half all together. So not a whole lot's going on in this drive or on this uh, half. We had a punt due to a bad play and we missed a field goal. Look at that stop. Incredible. All right, third and 12. And that should be the end of the first half. Seven to nothing. I'm okay with it. We got the lead. That's all that matters. We're going to check out some stats. There's not going to be a whole lot to see. There's going to be more stuff to see on defense than anything else. Let's go to stats and scores. 14 of set. Uh, let's see. 14 yards. They don't. They haven't even thrown the ball once. Am I looking at that right? I think they've passed it several times. They just can't even get the a pass off because we've got three sacks. That's a weird stat. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Interesting. Our passing game is going okay. I think our run game is doing fine, but they're doing a pretty good job of shutting it down when the occasion arises. Now, both teams are not doing very well on third down. It's just a big-time defensive battle. Both teams are playing clean, at least, in terms of the turnovers. Let's go to individual stats. Again, Gates, he's doing fine. 7 of 10, 96 yards, running the ball. Horton has got 8 attempts. The other guy's got one apiece. We may have to increase this for, like, at least Para once, maybe Miranda before Horton does the rest. He's got the one touchdown, but Perro's got the most yards. Receiving, 
Riley's having a much better game. The ball's kind of going in his direction so far. A few other guys have got to catch it. You look at defensively, several guys leading in tackles. One guy leading in tackles for loss is Ogabasi. Then you got Sacks. Ogabasi, he's having a game of his life. Good for him. And that is it for the stats. Let's go ahead and get into the game. Third quarter. Miami. We need to score some more points. That's the only thing that worries me at the moment. They're doing a good job of either shutting us down or us getting messed up on a field goal, which, again, that was just my fault. So let's go back to Horton. Let's see if he can do something. They're going man for three. I like the shift. We're going to go to the left. Oh, cut up, cut up. Just don't fumble it. Pick up four, maybe. Let's go second and six. Uh, we'll go toss with Pero. They're going zoned, but they're... Ah, oh, that's a weird, goofy shift. We got no choice but go to the right. That's what we're going to do. The clock is running. I'm going to let it do so. We're going to bring... My, let's bring... Oh, we can only bring Myrick over. I thought we could bring Riley. We're going to bring Myrick over. See if he can get in front of somebody. We'll do something like this. They'll run the option. He laterals the ball. Get to the outside. Just good. Just enough to get the first. Not a whole lot, but just enough. Play big game of rocks. Same sign. Let's go back and run some more. Man nickel. Spreading out big time. What we may do, we'll go to the left. I'm going to try to cut up the field vertically if possible. We'll get it down to a couple seconds and we'll snap it. Then we'll figure out what to do on third or second. Good defense. Yeah, nobody picked up that guy. I may... Well, at least Parker is back. I just now realized that. Let's go toss with Horton. Ah, they're going zone. This should be interesting. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way we go. Let's go ahead and snap it. Good play there. Get the first down. All right, we are on the right hash. Let's go. I really want to run some curl routes and such, but I just don't think it's a good idea against this wind. Let's do something a little more safe. Let's go back to, like, a flat out combo. Looks like he's coming down. We're either going to go to Ball or to Riley. We're going to let that clock roll. I would love to go to Ball over the top. That would be awesome. He had a touchdown a couple of games ago off this play. This may happen again. Nope, cover one. We'll just go back over here. Just don't fumble it. Pick up four. So, Riley, it's been all him today in the passing game. Uh, what can we do here? Second and four. Uh, let's, uh, Horton is still kind of gassed a little bit. Let's go... Oh, he's going to be in there anyway. So let's just go back to curls. We're going zone nickel. We'll do something like this. We may go back to our tight end again, Parker. Nope, we're going to go over here to the left. Pick up a good play right there. Good yardage. Our flat route is working well today. Horton is feeling it. I'm going to try the off-tackle play again with him. Now, weak off tackle, that's not a very good... I mean, it could work okay. It's not as good as QB choice. Once I get some time to work on the playbook editor, I can fix that really quick. Just need to get around to doing it. So I like what I'm seeing here. We can clear some room. Sometimes that helps, sometimes it doesn't. You just never know, but I'm just going to make it easy on ourselves. But do a uh, good play. Good defense. Good pursuit by the linebacker. Nowhere to go. Second and nine. Uh, let's go Lamb with Miranda. I want to give Horn a break before we need him in the third down. They're going man 4-3. This may not work at all. Oh, man. I don't want to waste a down. I may end up calling a timeout. I think that's what we may do. This is going to get stuffed, and I don't really have an audible, and we're a little too late for that. So let's just go ahead and call a timeout. Uh, let's go... Offensive line. Let's do... Let's stay in this formation. Let's go quick slants. 
Man 4-3. Now, let's see if Miranda can catch this. What I'm going to do is something like this. This will go to Peterson or Miranda. Cover one. Ooh, that was all scary, scary. Let's just get out of bounds. We got very lucky here. Good defense all around, but, man, I thought he was going to pick it off. I just did not see him there. That's why I lobbed it. I was like, oh, crap. I didn't mean to throw it that light. But we got through it just enough, and I didn't want to go up against that cat right there, so we just got out of bounds. Scary. Mm, okay. Let's think. Uh, we're on the 17. I don't want to do anything stupid. Let's go... I'm going to let Perro get another touch before we'll go back to Horton for the rest of it. Man 4-3. The clock has stopped. I like what we're seeing here. Pitch it off quick. Oh, look at that. that guy's got good defense or good speed. I almost got the in the end zone. Good play by Perro. He is our home run hitter in the backfield. Let's go slam with Horton the rest of the way and just pick up the touchdown. They're going zone 4-3. Ooh, we got no choice but to go right just because of that weak side defensive end. We're going to find a crease if we can, and we're going to get six points. All right, we got a two-touchdown lead. Our defense is playing like the 85 Chicago Bears at the moment. I mean, we're not getting anything past us. Our defensive line is beyond nasty. The key to football in general is two things. One, don't turn the ball over, and two, have a great offensive and defensive line. If you got both of those, you could do some serious damage. Skilled players are great, don't get me wrong, but if you got a defensive line like what we have right now, you can really win a lot of games. Our offensive line is playing well. Win in the trenches and don't do anything stupid. That pretty much sums up football. This may go. It's going to curl back in, isn't it? Phillips. Ooh, oh, this may be bad. Oh, good deal. I spin the wrong way. I'm going to go back to man. I think they're going to call their normal stuff until they got no choice in the fourth if we get enough of a stretch lead. We're going to do something like this. They went with that halfback read play. I think that's what that is and strong twins. But we got a, a good stop there. Let's go quarters. I think they got no choice but the throw. They're sticking with big sets, two wide sets mostly. Don't run to the left. Good. D oh, yeah. Pick six by Thornton, son. That may be game right there. I shouldn't say that. That's probably too early because we got over a quarter left. But that was a huge play. Our defense is lights out. You got also another thing you got to remember. We recruit nothing but smart players. That helps too, I would imagine. I think we finally put the nail in the coffin to Miami, just in general. Beating them two years in a row was really good. We're playing great. We're not turning the ball over. Our defense is playing great. That's what happens. It, it leads to three score leads in the third quarter. We'll kick it back off again. Kicks it off. Going to their halfback. It at the five. Great job by the defense. Now, are they... I think they're going to continue to run it. I think it, it's when they get in the fourth quarters when they feel like they got to start throwing more. But let's see what they do here. There's a shift by the linebacker. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays. And right now, they're not having much luck at all. Going with a toss. They got some ooh, good play by McCoy. Oh, that wasn't McCoy. That was Walker, middle linebacker. Uh, let's go quarters this time. Now, one thing else you got to remember, we got equal amount of talent as they do. So that helps. Now, let's pinch in. Wow, we're just that halfback. Sometimes you can shut down an impact running back. Other times you can't. The day is one of those days where we are just putting a number on that kid. He isn't getting anywhere. Third and nine. Get a stop here. And maybe we can really finish them off if we get the ball back. Look at that throw. By far their best play of the day. That kept them in it just enough. Let's see if they can finish off this drive. But a wheel wrap to the tight end. It had to be a perfect throw. And it was. 
If that's what it takes for them to move the ball, then they can have as many of those as they want because those are super hard throws to make. It took, you got to have some time for that route to develop. Fullback dive, nowhere to go there. Nichols with another play yet again. Gets a stud. Just a sophomore, too. Now he's taking a break. We're going to need him in the third on third down. He drops back. Going with the pass play. Oh, gosh, another great play by Thornton. There's an athletic play by the linebacker. We're going to go back to Cloud. Last time they were able to beat it. Looks like Nichols is staying out. We got our backups in there. I got the middle of the field. There you go. Somebody get a stop. Okay, now they're in the position where they will probably punt it. They're going to punt it. I'm going to do an all-out block. Now, they're not going to have enough time to do this. Yeah, it's going to be the end of the third quarter. Great third quarter. We got two touchdowns. That's practically 30 points in this game, the way things have been going since it's been a defensive battle. Now, because they're going to the fourth quarter now, they feel like they need to do something here instead of punt it to give themselves a chance. That's smart play. Let's see how they handle it. Looks like they're going gun bunch. Out of bounds. Ooh, did he get it? Wow, what a catch. I, did, I thought he was out of bounds. Oh, my gosh, he did get a foot in. Go back and look at that. Wow, just enough. And that's the same player, too, right on the sideline. Yep, he got a foot down. That's such a tough throw to make. I wouldn't have the guts to make that throw. Okay, looks like they're staying alive. BGs. Let's go uh, quarters. We're going to do something like this. Halfback direct. Fumble! Oh my gosh, he fumbled the ball. It's just their, it's a bad day for Miami. That's all it is right there. A really good play by them. He got a good game, but was it me who forced the fumble? Nope. I mean, as soon as I hit the guy, he fumbled it. I don't know. It doesn't matter who gets the credit. We got the fumble, and that should do it. We're going to run more clock and try to finish this game out. Let's go back to Miranda. Let's just see if he can go up to gut for a play. This play isn't going to work, but I'm not going to waste a timeout on it. Let's just go ahead and snap it. Yeah, good stop. We can go slam with Horton. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 18. And then we'll figure out what to do on third down. I may throw something deep. We'll go to the left more than likely. I could bring a tight end over if I felt like it, but I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to ring that linebacker. If he cuts in, I'm going to try to cut out and vice versa. Let's we'll see if our left side of the line can get good blocking. He's going out. We're going to do something like this. Pick up a first down. Great play. Time and time again, you see the team that's winning is usually the Get a first down there. Let me think. Uh, like, shotgun normal's got weak off tackle. It's Again, it's not a very good play. Sometimes you can get decent blocking. It's that slant blocking. It looks like it's zone blocking. That It doesn't work all that well, but we're going to try it for the, for the sake of it. They're going man 4-3. As long as they don't shift hard to the right, we're going to be okay. So I'm going to leave it as is. If I bring that tight end over, they'll probably shift as well. So I'm going to go ahead and snap it. And sometimes you get something like this. Sometimes it can work. Other times, not so much. Great play by the best running back in the country. I don't know how many yards he's had. He'll, we'll check it out later. First to 10. Like, gun spread hasn't won as well. We can do the weak off tackle. Let's go to the strong side with this one. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Th this is an easy fix in that playbook editor. Again, if I get enough time, I'd love to get in there and revamp a bunch of stuff. I just I got other projects I'm working on. So the clock is stopped. We'll go ahead and snap it. Uh-oh. 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 Big play by the best player in the country. So he's leading in touchdowns and in yards this year. That's pretty good. Didn't know that. Now he's a bit gassed. We're going to give him a break. Let's go basic slam with Pero. 
Zone 4-3. I have no reason to pass it, so we're just going to run clock. We will probably... Let's look at their linebackers. Eh, let's go to the right. We're going to read that corner. And work off of that. Hopefully our tight end can pick up that linebacker. The clock has stopped. No, it isn't. Let's go ahead and do something like this. I almost got the first down. We may did have. I think we did. Second and inches. Good play by Pero. Let's go back. Let's do a counter trap. The counters aren't all that good in this game. A few of them are the counter weeks. This is another easy fix. You just switch that. Just pretty much remove all pulling and slant blocking, and you can make these plays a whole lot better. The good thing about that is you can make... You're making plays better for both you and for the CPU, so you're going to get a better challenge by also using better plays as well. And we're going to get a first down off a of counter. Not bad. First and ten. So we can try this again. Horton is still a bit gassed. Let's go and try counter lead with Pero. It's first and ten. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. Uh, I'm going to run to the right. I'm going to leave it as is. We'll read that corner. Just complete domination. That's one step closer to us winning a championship. Good defense. Somebody came right on through. He wouldn't have come through if we didn't have a pulling block. Or a pulling guard like that. But that's okay. Again, that's something I can fix down the road. Uh, second and 13. Horton is still a little bit gassed. We can go back to Miranda. Let's go basic dive with him. It's second down now, 13 to go. We're going nickel, man. I'll run to the right. That's fine. We're going to leave it as is. I'm going to try to get as vertical as possible. Get it down to a few seconds. We'll snap it. I'd love to use up the rest of this clock. That'd be great. Great defense. Nowhere to go. So third and 13. We can try. Deep bounce. I'm going to flip it. We're going zone. This will go to somebody over the middle. I'd love to get a touchdown. That would be great. But we're going up against two really good safeties. This probably isn't a good idea. We'll try it anyways. I'd love to go to the tight end. That'd be cool. Go ahead and snap it. Looks, to Touchdown. The Perfect throw by Gates. Yeah. Right where it needed to be. I had good protection. You go back and look at this. Good right tackle got blasted. But thankfully my halfback came over to get the block. And at this point, I keep backing up and I really shouldn't. But look at that hole right there. Just a dart. Great play. This would be a really good thumbnail. Something like that would be pretty cool. Pretty neat. Really good. All right. And that should do it. We got a minute 14 to go. We'll kick an extra point. We'll get back on defense for a little bit, and then we'll end it. Hopefully, you got to remember, we got two prospects coming in today. Sergey Long still is ready to commit. I guess one day he will. So we may get three commitments at the end of this. So make sure you stay to the end of the video and see who we pick up. So it looks like it was a good choice to bring in everybody in today. Phillips fields it in the end zone. Thankfully, I think my my strategy worked really well in terms of we pretty much negated those two safeties. We didn't go deep any today. We didn't have to. We pretty much kept them out of most plays. So I'm thankful for making that call. And that halfback hasn't done squat today. Now, a lot of people have watched me play. A lot of times you see an impact halfback just run ramshot all over me. This, is, this hasn't happened today. Our defense has done a really good job of containing him. Let's talk. Thornton is our player of the game. Two tackles, interception for a touchdown. I forgot to do my shift. Look at that. We're just He can't break any tackles or anything. Good deal. So it's third and 11. I'm going to go... Cloud, they've given up when you run the ball, but you know, you're down four touchdowns with a minute to go. I think they've realized this game's over with. I've got the middle of the field. 
There you go. Somebody get a stop. Of course we're going to. By you know who. By Nichols. The quarterback hasn't got to go out and do anything. Just complete domination across the board. Now, I know a game like this can upset a few people. They want me to struggle more. I, I don't know what you want me to do there. I mean, we're just playing good football. We're going up against a team that's just as good as us, talent-wise. But we're playing clean football when they're not. You know, I mean, what do you do? Miami. This isn't an upset anymore. Miami isn't. We're number one team in the country. We're playing like it. Hardy gets it off. Uh, I'm going to fair catch this, and we'll probably take a knee the rest of the way. I got no reason to call any other play. So let's go and do a QB kneel. We'll do that a couple times, and we will end it. Then we will look at some stats. I'm going to go ahead and hurry this up. Go back down. We'll do this one more time. Just pure execution across the board. Offensively, defensively, everything was as good as he can get. Now, watch what happens in our next game. We'll just play awful. That happens sometimes. You just don't, you know, our last game, we were very fortunate we got out of uh, Blacksburg with the win. Hopefully, we use all of our bad mojo in that game. And he'll just kneel it here. We turned the ball over a couple times. It did not help things. Four, they go with a hurry up offense. So, textbook win right here against a really good team that's just as good as us. Everything went very well. All right, let's look at some stats. This should be a little bit more impressive. 295 yards to this, their 72. I swear, our defense is probably the best game I've seen our defense play this entire dynasty. Just complete shutdown. Our passing game done 11 of 14. I'll take that any day of the week, especially for our game plan coming in. Our running game, 28 rushes for 145 yards. This was the probably the stat of the game, five sacks. Now, most of that was that quarterback trying to run away, but he couldn't do it. Now, neither team done a halfway decent job on third down. They had two turnovers in the second half that really done them in. Otherwise, it was a tight game. It was 7 nothing at half, but we was able to come out on top in that second half. The rest of this doesn't say a whole lot to me. Let's go to individual stats. Again, 11 of 14, one touchdown, no interceptions for Gates. He played really well, I thought. And I kept it safe for him. I didn't want to throw too many wild plays. And his one deep ball that we had against zone, we got a touchdown out of it. Running the ball. Horton, we ran him as best we could. He had 5.4 yards average. He got two touchdowns. Pero done really well. Had a good average there. Miranda got to touch the ball a few times. And Gates, I guess those are sacks. I'm trying to think when he... Three attempts. I'm trying to think when that was. We got. I don't remember getting sacked any. So I don't know what happened there. Either way, receiving. Riley had his best game of the season. Didn't even get a touchdown, but he caught everything through his way. Peterson had the one touchdown. Horton, Parker, Miranda, everybody else kind of was able to get a catch of some sort. You look at the defense. Nichols led in tackles. Tackles for loss. Nichols. Sacks. Nichols. I think he may have been player of the game outside of Thornton. Great play by a great game by Nichols and Olga Bossy. Just our defensive line. Just played at an all-time level today. All right, let's get out of here. So it looks like Sergey Long finally committed. He's will probably our starting right tackle here in a couple seasons once Warren leaves. And then we picked up the free safety uh, out of our own home state, David Roberts. Really excited to have him, which means we're down to one player, and that's the Madison kid who did visit uh, in our last game, but he did not commit. Look who made the cover, Thornton. Good for him. Let's go do end season recruiting. So again, we're down to one guy, but technically, here's another guard, Lonnie Lowe. We made his top five, yet we haven't even bothered recruiting him. Now, the reason why I didn't go after him, mainly because I think he's a little too small, a little light on the weight there, and I think we're going to be okay without him. I'd rather put all of our points on this guy, and we're going to be fine. Besides, we don't have a whole lot of spots left to fill, so we're going to put all of our points on Madison. We got two commitments. We only got 10 spots. Technically eight, now we got two commitments, so the offseason recruiting, we're going to go after just, you know, eight to nine guys that are going to be really good, and we're going to go from there. So let's go and check out the top 25 scores for the week. You look at, of course, we beat Miami. Then you have Penn State over Minnesota, Florida State over Wake Forest, Notre Dame over Stanford. Then you have Oregon over Arizona State, Auburn over Boston College, Mississippi State over Vandy, Florida over Ole Miss. Then you have Cal upsetting Oregon State. USC over Washington. 
Oklahoma over Texas. Then you have Texas Tech over Nebraska. And it looks like the Big 12 is having some fun in this dynasty. A lot of big-time uh, talent in, in that uh, conference. You got Michigan over Purdue. LSU over Virginia Tech. Tennessee still undefeated. I would love to take on my balls in the national championship game. That would be awesome. Over South Carolina, they beat them. Then you got Texas A&M over Iowa State. And last but not least, you got Virginia over Clemson. Okay, in our next game, we have number 17, Georgia Tech. I think we beat them last year. They beat us the year before. I think we got a two-to-one game lead over them. I think that's the case. Either way, we finally got a little bit more talent than they do. They're having a good season. They're three and one. You look at their stats. They're doing pretty good at pretty much everything. Their offense, they're running the ball extremely well. Their defense looks pretty solid. And they got the best turnover differential in the country. It should be a lot of fun. I can't wait to take them on. And I'll talk to you guys later.